Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Bullish Bears Trading View tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to cover how to sync our charts on Trading View. This is a phenomenal tool, and thank goodness for Trading View for giving us the chance to use this because now we're able to link up our time frames on each chart. We're able to keep each chart a separate stock, or we could keep it as the same stock, and we could see the same time frames, we could see the same analysis, and this is a big help for people who trade something like ES or NQ, where it's important to be aware of both of them to see if they are trading together, if there's any type of divergence, or anything else that might signal a potential reversal. So before we get into it, I want to go over what kind of account you might need on TradingView. Now TradingView is great because it does offer a free account and it gives you just one chart for that free account. So this video doesn't really apply to you. Once you start to upgrade to the essential, you get up to two charts per tab. The plus you get four charts per tab and the premium you get eight charts per tab. So now that we understand what kind of account we need with TradingView, let's start to link our charts. The first thing we're going to do is come to create a new layout. Now for this video, I'm going to be turning my drawings off so we can focus more on the settings at hand. The next thing we're going to do is come up here to our layout setup and we're going to add a second chart. So now we have the ES on both screens, but I want to change the second screen to the NASDAQ. So we're going to put the NQ right there. Now we have the ES and NQ, but we see that the charts aren't synced just yet. We're going to come back to our layout setup and we're going to come down to sync and layout. Now here's where it gives you all of the different opportunities and different settings to turn on or off. Now if you want to keep the same symbol on each chart you're looking at, which is very useful if you're looking at the same symbol on different time frames, you would simply turn the symbol on. That's going to put ES in both charts, and when you change one of the charts to something else, it's going to change it on every chart. So now we're going to come back and we're going to turn symbol off for now and we're going to turn on the intervals. Now intervals is the time frame we have. So now we're going to put ES back on our first chart and we're going to go to the 15 minute time frame and as you see, it changed from the hourly on the ES and the NQ chart. So we're starting to sync our charts. Things are starting to get a bit smoother. Now we're going to come down and of course crosshair is usually turned on automatically. This helps us to sort of see the same candle that we're on on the ES and NQ or again whatever else we might be trading. If we're trading something like Apple and Microsoft and we want to see their relative strength compared to each other, that's also important and very useful. So we have our crosshair turned on. Now for time, you would usually think time would mean the time frame, but that's the intervals. Time just sort of allows us to turn this on so that we're definitely seeing, if I want to see this date right here on ES, if I click it on the NASDAQ chart and drag it, it will bring it over, but it's still not that smooth like we saw earlier. So to find that smooth transition, we're going to come down to date range and we're going to turn that on. Now that we have our date range on and our time frame analysis on, we are good. Everything is running smooth. We're able to look for potential divergences. We could see here we have the NASDAQ took out this high. The ES didn't take out that high. Now, if we were looking at our trading view chart, we would have been able to see that pretty well. Hope this video helped, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. Join us live every Monday and Friday on YouTube, and join us live Monday through Friday in our community. Take care, happy trading, and be well.